It is said that wars are only won upon the anvil of honor. Others believe victory requires strategy and a mastery of power. War is deception. A game played best from the shadows. Only strength and raw power can assure total dominance. Ah, <sighs> Dalaran, the, the floating city of magic, its wonderful roads of sapphire and golden statues and all kind of beautiful things. In LTA, it is the horror, the real horror of taking it, the, re it, uh, the, uh, the terror of the alliance basically, okay, I'm skipping the pleasantries. Let's get to action. So basically, uh, JK Kilo uh, made a post about Dalaran the floating magic because as many people uh, might have uh, understood in LTA, it is a great achievement to take down uh, Dalaran. You basically make um, Dalaran, or new Dalaran I should say, more useless uh, since they are no longer able to teleport. They cannot provide Ronin, or oh, is it not? It's, it's Khadgar, I believe, yeah. You cannot train anymore Kirin Tor, you can't train any more Tirusful Agents, you basically putting a big handicap on Dalaran by destroying it. But sometimes, most likely, uh, or most of the times, when Dalaran is destroyed, it's either an endgame when we can see the major faction winning. So, G uh, G -Kilo, uh, GK Kilo has made a post with the diff with the different rewards for each faction to destroy this beautiful city. And we're gonna go through them and see what we think about them, okay? So, okay, first of all, Scourge, if blue or grey kills Dalaran on the throne, will be uh, improved 1,500 increased HP and 300% amount of more. Gains the demi-hero Oberus Bloodbane, which is a death knight from Wrath of Lich King, if people didn't know who he is. And there's also a link to the wiki if people want to go check it out for themselves. Now, of course, I've already seen in the, in the uh, comments uh, by following this thread uh, while I was sitting in school, and it was unacceptable to actually give the throne more HP and mana. And... Yeah, I can understand that. There, I can totally understand why it shouldn't have more health and mana. I mean, sure, it's a great thing. But I also think when Dalaran falls, it is most likely when Lich King is already up, I think. I don't think it's going to be that early. So, there you go. Blood Elves can gain a Sun River Mage, limited 12 from Sun River Sanctum, next to Atheus, incinerate uh, Arcane Anthemant, uh, regains 1 mana per second, weak Fire Breath, only gain from Alliance Path, and I'm unsure how that has to do with destruction of Dalaran, but I guess it's just while it's up while there's the Sun Reavers, which is a cool thing, I think, because we have seen Scarlet get their kind of new uh, unit with the Scarlet Inquisitors, like an extra dem in some way, I guess you could say. Oh god. Uh, Felkale gains an item uh, if he, as Fellows or Legion, destroy Dalaran, which is, you know, it's cool, like, get an artifact from destroying it. Dalaran has a lot of valuable items stocked up in their I will assume, and they can do some stuff. If Red destroys Dalaran while Wretched, they will feast upon the, uh, the magic of the city, increasing all units of mana, all units mana by 150, and Grand Scale, uh, or the Blood Prince, one level, also removes the negate, ne negative mana ridge and putting it to zero, which is very cool, I think that would be cool. I, it would be fun to actually see Wretched or uh, Wretched Scourge uh, take the fight to Dalaran itself, even though it's mo very unlikely, but it would still be cool to see. Uh, silver Hand, uh, Light Blue will gain a tower within Dalaran uh, once Silver Covenant is researched. The building can create High Elves. The tower is given to Purple if Light Blue goes Risen or Scarlet one slot, neutral if uh, normal Scarlet, and returned li uh, Light Blue. Uh, return to Light Blue if he goes Argent. Could be with the, uh, within main platform or gain their own platform like Atheus does. I think that's cool. I think they I mean, it should be both uh, Sun River and uh, Silver Covenant in one city. That's like how it is. If Light Blue kills Dalaran as Scarlet once look, he, he gains Dalaran and renames it the Scarlet Rise. Allow the ability to get powerful Arcanists, limited to eight as long as the Scarlet Rise lives. Sure, but then I think it should replace the Scarlet Inquisitors. I don't think it should have access to two or three kind of elites in some way. I mean, he's still a solo faction, but still, I don't think that should be possible to have so many. 
If Light Blue kills Stalaron as Risen, uh, Balthazar, Balnazar, uh, I guess it's supposed to be, uses the secret knowledge of Dalaran to increase the durability of his forces, increasing all units' health by 120 and armor by 2. Risen can also open a portal to Asteroid, allowing uh, Kill to come through, or Kill Jaden, uh, in short terms of. Uh, longer cast time only be cast in Dalaran, which is uh, kind of interesting because I would because I would assume that could be very cool to actually summon him in Dalaran, but it will t take longer, and the extra armor uh, to un I would assume it's demon units. Uh, I don't s I don't think it would be the undead units, but either way, it could be cool to see that. Um, if Andre Crusade occurs with uh, Scarlet Rise, Arcanist is limited, uh, increased to ten. And is able to make high elf units as well. Okay, I uh, guess that's fine. Uh, if Light Blue has all three upgrades for high elves from the southern base, he can research improved high elf relations, replacing knights with highborn, siege with ballistas, and add elven casters to church. Varissa is revivable as long as the southern base plus the covenant base in is Darwan, uh, in Darwan is still alive. Silver hand event only. Yeah, I think that would be cool to see. Actually, I think it would be cool to see actually kind of replacement, like get the Silver Covenant to do uh, more action. It would be cool to see that and how that could work out. Uh, then we're going to move over to Dwarves. If Yellow destroys Dado and Wild Dark Iron, the Suren will get an artifact infused with the Elemental Fire, granting increased attack damage, splash damage, and fire damage, undroppable and unmovable. And I'm going to be fair, I think that's a fair reward for Dwarves to, or Dark Iron to defeat. Uh, or destroy Dalaran, because we have to think about uh, he has to fly there with his oh god, I don't remember what they're called, but their flying unit that, that can transport. He has to use that, and Dalaran can teleport, and he can even, and by, I would assume, if uh, Dark Owen happens, there's a slight chance that uh, Red could have maybe gone another path, but maybe Silver Hand is still in it, so you know, he's, he will have help from the allies, allies. and of course, Dalaran isn't easy to take, you also have to take care of the crystals around, which means uh, the attacking player, in this case Dwarves, has to uh, use a navy to destroy stuff before he can go in for the building itself. So, you know. Of course, some uh, benefits uh, with this from da that Dalaran gets, Dalaran King of Magis, has the ability to create a powerful staff inside the depths of Dalaran, will drop on death. So, basically, like Ironforge can do. Uh, they can create an epic item, uh, one of the three. Uh, Dalaran will have the ability, or sh uh, as, it is, as it is suggested, can make a uh, powerful staff in the depths of Dalaran. Uh, and it can drop on death, which means other players can have it as well. Which, you know, it could be cool. Uh, depending on the item, of course, but if it's maybe not too strong, then yeah, I would like to see what happens. Uh, Games improved tower defense. Now, mm, Dalaran is very hard to take already. I don't think it needs more defense. I don't know. Um, Dalaran can gain a powerful weapon inside the primary spire of new Dalaran, able to bring uh, arcane destruction on all who are hit by it. Think of it as a Cho'Gol beam, just a bit stronger. Must be researched, five, minute cool five minutes cooldown. So I believe there's an item like, or not an item, but a ability like this on the Twilight Citadel, which allows you to basically fire uh, a giant beam. I think it's nearby where you are, I don't think it's anywhere on the map, I don't remember. Uh, but it has to be in a in a within radius of the building itself. But I think that could be a kind of mechanism to counter ships. I know there's a way to build ships in Darwan. Don't get me wrong, but that should be removed. To be honest, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, uh, where were we? Darwan gains Dotus, the cynic, uh, the cynic, the Dotus, the cynical mate's demi. Uh, spells unknown, perhaps a certain uh, ir uh, Irish, Irish dark bee can think of some. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Irish, Irish Dark B, I didn't... <laughs> cynical. Let's refer to Cynical. Uh, Dotus, the Cynical Mate. Okay. That's just for fun, I think. Spellblades, uh, limited to 12, can uh, be created from any barracks. Uh, once new dollar one is gained, uh, have decent health, lots of mana, and has mana shield and arcane blade. Uh, fifth, plus 15 damage on hit drains uh, the spell uh, the spell blades mana per hit as well. So I think the spell blades can be looked at as a kind of battle mage in some way. Okay, a limited to 12, but it would be kind of a little bit. They would be a little bit powerful, but they would be good tanking units. Okay. Finally, if the magic center inside Ironforge is still alive upon Dalaran's destruction, Purple will still be able to create his casters and elites, but still, but still he loses his golems. Uh, the ability to revive Khadgar and the Heartstones uh, can still port with agents, so long as the base in Ironforge is alive. 
Now, that, what this means is basically, let's say I'm Scourge, I destroy a new Dalaran, one, uh, but then the base in Ironforge is still alive, the main base there. That means Dalaran will still be able to create his casters and Tyrus full and t be able to teleport around, but no more tank units. Which I think is fine, because Ironforge is not the most uh, hardest base to take in the world, it's very strong, but I think uh, that it is kind of fair, it would be cool to see that happening. Then it means that one is not completely uh, rendered useless, because then he wants to defend Ironforge as well, he doesn't, he want, doesn't want his second chance to just go die. Uh, on to Forsaken. Destroying Dalaran will allow Sylvanas to use the knowledge stored within to improve the plague, plague making it last longer and do slightly increased damage. Yeah, why not? I think that could be that would be a, a good reward for Forsaken. I think if they to the plague, I think that could be very cool. Cult, the master of undeath, can take control of Dalaran, gaining improved flesh golems. Cult caster will, will gain plus 75 uh, HP and 50 mana, and add extra five damage to them, including elites. And a corrupted Dalaran under cult control gained if blue or grey kills Dalaran. Now, I've already seen in the comments, and it was unacceptable with e any of these buffs with two units like HP and mana. But maybe the improved flesh golems could be something, and yeah. Gain to them in name Nick, Nick, Nicola. Uh, Mighty Necromancer to assist the cult for the damn blizzard, magic immunity, and silence. <laughs> there we go again with the. I don't know if they would add these, but who knows. But uh, a demi uh, could be very well added. Maybe Hagen, the young clean then. If Cult has control of Dalaran and Ronin dies, Keltusan can resurrect him as an undead mage, demi hero or full hero. Uh, will make, but it will make Ronin unrevivable. Yeah, uh, if he gets him as a demi, I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe not as a full hero, but as a demi would be definitely something. And ma uh, making Ronin unrevivable. Yeah, sure. I think that could be interesting to see. Cult gains a base within the remnants of the old Dalaran ruins. Now, here's the problem. I think uh, JK Kilo may, uh, got this confused because there was someone commenting that uh, because we're gonna go longer down and see something else later. But in the, in the video did with the rework of Silverhand, it was suggested that by SV and MS that Cult should have a base in uh, Dalaran Dungeons, uh, which Garethos could then destroy and get a base there. So, we're not gonna comment on that here. <clears throat> If the Horde captures Dalaran, all the casters, yeah, there we have the buff again, and Drek'thar gains plus 5 in intelligence. Maybe a buff to the hero, but the caster is out of the way, apparently. And I kind of have to agree as well, but maybe a buff to the hero, maybe a level, or maybe a skill point or something to Drek'thar would be something. Uh, the trolls, upon destroying Dalaran, will be able to, to drain the artifacts within to give the, a hero le three levels. That could be something, because trolls is never going to be able to actually kill Dalaran without Horde's help, because they have no way of getting in unless the bridge is open, which it's almost suicide, right? Dragonmar, the destruction of Dalaran brings honor and glory but to the forces of the Dragonmar, granting a golden lumber reward and a weapon crafted from the artifacts within Dalaran vaults. Yeah. That seems like a fair reward for Dragonmar. Now this is normal Dragonmar, okay? The, it's not the any, any of the other paths. If uh, if fell, they can use the magical items to open a portal to Azeroth. Yeah, it's the same that basically Risen has. They can summon the Legion, but it will take longer time, and it only works within uh, Dalaran. And the Light Bridge will be activated if it wasn't, so people can't stop them. Twilight, all gods grant Togol the blessing. Uh, a blessing probably improving uh, them and, and summon an old gall agent to Dalaran. Buffing Finger of Yogg and Chogol gets one to two levels. Yeah, I think uh, buffing Chogol with if he Twilight destroys it would be kind of cool and maybe, you know, get a free old gall within Dalaran. Maybe some tentacles to protect it as well and maybe, if possible, to create some blight in it just to see the, create the death and destruction of it. I think that could be cool. Legion, after the Legion once again removes Dalaran from Azeroth, Kill Jaden uses his uh, uses the store knowledge from Dalaran's library to improve his nearby Legion, improving demon armor, the ar demon's armor and damage. Yeah, I think that could maybe be cool to see some kind of event where you can improve the Legion units. Uh, against a Demi or full hero, Xevos, uh, remnant model. I have no idea who Xevos is, but a Demi could be potential indeed. Now let's go over to Worgen, shall we? If Purple decides to for, uh, forgo Dalaran in, for the Worgen, uh, forget Dalaran for the Worgen, Dalaran will become a creep camp filled with units and a level 10 Khadgar in order to allow uh, play, uh, players the ability to receive these new events. 
Which is kind of... Uh, no, I actually... No. I actually have to disagree there. Because then it would be so much easier to gain these events. And then people like... Like uh, Cult of the Damned. No, no, no. Trolls could get those th uh, three levels pretty easy. Uh, Cult could that get their stuff easy. I only think these events should be available as long as new dollar one is standing. I don't think they should be available even if uh, dollar uh, dollar one moments doesn't go new dollar one. That's just my opinion, though. Now uh, we talked about this cult gets a base, and we talked about that with the dollar one ruins and all that. Now here's a message from SVNMS because he commented on this and he had like an idea. We could remove the last, the rest of Dalaran buildings and walls, and to make it look like Dalaran uh, was there and then transported, and then a new Dalaran building would be linked to the current dungeon, which will contain some production buildings, a quarter for the Sun Reavers and another for the Silk Continents, solving the problem of and the uh, no, uh, new Dalaran needing more space. In the, in the place where the portal should be, the heart of Dalaran will be put and needs to be destroyed for new Dalaran to die. It will be uh, invulnerable from the outside. When the heart is destroyed, no, uh, new Dalaran will be replaced uh, by the rune model and this will be uh, this will be as defendable as Icecron. If Kale didn't go Illidari yet, he will encounter Vash at the entrance of the crater and the portal uh, opens, making Outland more accessible. Uh, Hold on. Alright, sorry. Uh, for, sorry for that uh, introduction there. Okay, uh, it has already been created. It will automatically, uh, automatically appear in the middle of the crater when uh, new dollar one is created. The bridge will become permanent and can no longer be deactivated. Why? Because a dollar one can be there any time to defend it if anything goes wrong. And because dollar one dungeons are one, uh, one long choking point. And that one has a lot of AoE and will probably have some towers there. Oh god, a burp there. <clears throat> some Scourge players will try and take it early and will probably fail. And they will stop trying after a few games of experience with the new system. For the same reason, that one doesn't try to take Ice Crown early. The reward for taking the, uh, down this is, well, you get rid of the annoying dollar one and you get uh, three CPs as opposed to the, lo to the lone CP. Uh, to the, lo uh, the lone CP that one had. Hmm, maybe we could uh, give the heart an anti unt uh, or a similar to the arcane power regenerator with the two ta uh, 2000 range or something. We'll see uh, a lot uh, more uh, a lot more Outland and Illidore reaction. It was just anno uh, annoying to take uh, your units to Outland because you had to move them all the way there through the dungeons and now you see an uh, in inventing portal there. Uh, not to mention that Illidore will directly teleport into Hillsburg now. So, from... What I understand from this, from uh, SV, uh, SVM, the ruler uh, of the LTA forums, is that if you go to Dollar One, you are, of course, uh, you go, you're gonna, for some reason, you're gonna be. Actually, I'm very confused by this, actually. Uh, are you gonna be in uh, the crater with New Dollar One? Because uh, he had apparently uh, figured out some way to move uh, terrain in triggers, for, uh, and I'm just very confused at the moment. Is it gonna be like okay, new dollar one uh, will have uh, will be in uh, oh God, new dollar one will be as it is, but it will be like it will have an uh, heart of dollar one in it, and if it's destroyed, new dollar one or what remains of it will be in hill spread in the ruins of the uh, crater. At the moment, I'm a bit confused. If you people do understand it, then please inform me. But other, uh, anyhow. Uh, with uh, the rewards, I kind of like that there should be some kind of reward system for destroying the other one from some factions. Maybe not all of them needs to be in game, but some of them uh, should be. Now, I would of course like to hear your opinions on this, so thanks for watching, and until next time, guys, bye bye!